Squid Game cryptocurrency scammers make off of 2.1 million. The Squid Coin scam was covered uncritically by mainstream news outlets. Squid Game cryptocurrency soars 2300% in the first few days. Oh no. Man, that's so sad, dude. Bonded by a shared love of the 80s, hardcore, and 90s hip-hop, the creators of Bored Ape uh, YC make more than NFTs. They built an immersive, fantastical world. See how the Bored Ape Yacht Club took over the internet and how the founders envisioned their future? What? Are we the Beastie Boys NFTs? Because right after our initial success, it felt like the Beastie Boys going on tour with Madonna. Everyone was like, who the f*** are these kids? Images of grungy apes with unimpressed expressions appeared all over the internet. Even Golden State Warrior Steph Curry started using Bored Ape uh, YC Ape as his Twitter profile picture. I hope everybody loses their money in this. I'm sorry. There, I said it. I really, I just like, that only means that someone else is going to make the money though. And that person who's like making the money is probably going to be making so much more. Uh, and that person is the top piece of shit. So major news. All three of these board APYC were hacked tonight over Discord. Guys posing as buyers in Discord were helping me troubleshoot a problem we thought was happening. They walked me through the language settings of my MetaMask and had me choose an option and took over everything. I stole it back for you. I was just trying to help. <laughs> I contacted the FBI field office and gave them everything. Dude, uh, decentralized currency backed by a lot of like, uh, you know, ANCAPs very quickly is uh, coming to the realization that um, Sam Cedar uh, often engages with like libertarians and, and brings this point up is who protects you when someone steals from you? There needs to be like, uh, I don't know, some sort of fucking regulation. It almost feels like there needs to be a regulatory body that, uh, you know, protects you from getting owned and having your shit taken away by devious right clickers, okay? And uh, ShareX users and MacBook users that can just like easily screenshot shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, don't even think about right clicking, okay? This guy was watching the coin live on stream and it crashed right on time. So the market cap is $2.168 trillion. And now the market, oh! Oh, it went to zero. Yo! <laughs> point. Dude, what is that? Like, why are people, dude, honestly, people are so fucking willing and able to get fucked by those that are wealthier than them that promise them like uh, a better tomorrow that promise them that like, you're going to make a lot of money. Like they're so willing and able to get fucked by those people. So I say, let them, let them get fucked. It was coded so that literally only the devs could sell the coin. Oh, that's so awesome. That's so fucking sick, dude. Listen, dude, if the if the guy that's like handling your portfolio has a face tat of like a tornado, a teardrop, and a fucking star, you're going to get fucked over, okay? I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not taking investment advice from this guy. It's a Halloween costume, to be fair. Oh, okay. My bad. Lol, it was my Halloween costume for weird. The dent. Oh, shit. The dude is in here. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, service level Andy. Dude, I am so service level. Okay. I think all of this is a fucking major scam. Cryptocurrencies are all fucking, all of these like altcoins, shit coins, NFTs, they're all a scam. Most of that money is going back to like a couple fucking, like a small collection of individuals. You might every now and then get away with gambling and like pulling out at the right time. But ultimately, if they're warned people about the shit coin all week, regardless, you're so wrong. Okay, if I'm wrong, then have fun with it. I, I, I give up. I give up trying to tell people not to fucking engage in this shit. So I don't care, you know, I, I, and I will make fun of you. It's all gambling. Apologize? Yeah, no, I'm not apologizing. And it's funny that you lost all your money. The key difference is between a shit coin and not. Yeah. What if I were to tell you it's all shit coin? Fear of missing out somehow overwrites the fear of getting fiscally fucked. Fiscally fucked with a fist too. Not even like a, like a gentle fucking. No kisses. No fucking nice seafood dinner. They're just fisting your asshole every time. Dabble in crypto, but I know it is gambling. The people who think it's a legitimate form of investing are stupid. Listen, there's a lot of fucking... I mean, the stock market is like... Uh, there's plenty of fucking uh, uh, gambling involved in the stock market too. Unless you're following Nancy Pelosi's husband's, unless you're tracking Nancy Pelosi's husband's uh, moves, you know, you're getting, you're getting fucked harder than CISWET19. I mean, you probably aren't because like, you know, the stock market is, is a uh, bullish as fuck and it feels like it's going to be in a permanent growth stock market, which is not. Aren't NFTs just digital beanie babies? No, they're worse because at least with a beanie baby, there was like a literal fucking beanie baby. Okay. There was like an actual product there with the NFTs. There's nothing. It's like right clickable. It's just a certificate that uh, is, is just sitting there uh, burning a fucking part of the Amazon. 
uh, to, to make sure that that certificate is there always and you can point to it to be like this is mine which ultimately doesn't even fucking matter and like 90 percent of the shit that like nfts are supposed to solve you could do without an nft like sub badges right again if you have a sub badge which i literally joke about all the time it's you know it's up to you if you want to fucking give me money or not you don't have to i offer everything for fucking free but some people um, specifically more than 47,000 people are like, no, this is worth it for me to avoid the top of the hour ad break and to also, um, you know, financially fund this Hasanabi enterprise. Motherfucker streams eight hours a day, seven days a week. Like, I think it's worth it. It comes down to like 0.2 cents an hour or something. So, you know, and you get to avoid the ad breaks. You get to have emotes and you get to avoid the ad breaks at the top of the hour, like the one coming right now. Because at the top of the hour, there's a six second ad break, a contractual obligation that I must run. But if you know, as you say, it's gambling. And one of the reasons people gamble is because they see it as their only way to get out of squalor. So laughing at them seems kind of weird. There's a reason the lottery is called the poor tax. Laughing at people who fucking uh, trade cryptocurrencies is kind of weird. No, it's not. They're really annoying. Most people that I encounter on the internet that are like heavily engaged in cryptocurrency are really fucking annoying for the most part, which is why I think it's totally justifiable to make fun of them, especially if they lose all their money. Like the little crumbs that they fucking cast aside for themselves, to, you know, develop a little nest egg for them. Also, what you're saying is no different than like, why are you laughing at a fucking degenerate gambler who you've told time and time again not to do the gambling, but like they can't stop and they think, no, this time actually I'm going to fucking do it. I bet the house this time, dude. And it's going to, it's going to be fine. And you're like, okay, well, you're a fucking idiot. Like I've told you a million times not to do this. So I'm just going to laugh at you at this point. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, you're just giving other people that were there before you money. This is upwards wealth transfer always. Crypto is like getting caught in MLM. Yeah. Like nobody fucking cries when I make fun of people like, you know, middle-class mommies in like Sarasota getting involved in fucking multi-level marketing schemes. I dunk on them all the goddamn time and you think that's like totally fucking valid. But all of a sudden when it's like a crypto uh, multi-level marketing scheme, you're like, whoa, whoa, why don't we think about the fucking crypto bros, dude? Anyone who's like upset at me making fun of crypto bros either has never encountered one in the wild and does not know how fucking annoying they are or they themselves are a crypto bro and do not, do not want me to make fun of them. Uh, on the last screen cap of a Duke can appeal board ape YC to unilaterally declare a stolen ape officially worthless. Doesn't that kind of give the supposedly decentralized game away? Isn't the whole point of this that it's a bona fide market that sets prices? Yup, the gig's up for this dumb idea. NFT folks are overruling their own blockchain because they lost possession of their apes. If the community sets the value based on morality or ethics and not the precious blockchain, you're right back to the system you tried to replace. Yup. I work at a local food place and customer asked if we accept cryptocurrency. <laughs> That's funny. Only invest in crypto... What you're willing to lose that's the rule of thumb if you're lucky enough to win then good job yeah crypto bros are the man version of the pyramid scheme women yeah exactly no 100 i don't agree with your takes on crypto slash stocks if i listened to you i would have missed on tens of thousands of profits i hope you keep fucking winning dude i really do but uh there will come a time when you will be involved in one of these like ape type situations where you're like oh my god i invested so much into this and i lost all of it and now there's no way to recover it and when that time comes i will remind you of the previous fucking statements that you made in this chat about how much you were caking it uh <laughs> elon musk you want to see what elon musk used to look like i know what he used to look like he, he, he had pretty bad balding oh wow that's what money can get you, baby. Okay. I love Elon Musk. He's my favorite. He's just so quirky. Shut the fuck up, dude. You're such what a you liar. Mean? You're I saying that so... just to fucking stunlock me? Because what? Okay, you're the I... type of person who despises his like no. fucking lame ass like, Oh, I'm starting a new company. It's going to be Texas Institute of Technology and Science. Tits. Oh, Omega Oh. Cause it's like tits. Stop. You will never or you will never organically Dude, laugh at that. I, I think he's so funny. You're such a he's, I, I I think he's great. Did you know his Tesla's spell sexy? Cause he's very, very cool. Why are you making that face at me? They should they should jail him for that. <laughs> what the fuck? They should throw him in take prison. Take that back. And they should take I will never right take now. that back. It's what I believe don't, in. Don't don't make fun of him. It's my it's from the bottom of my heart I believe Stop it. Stop making fun of him. They should throw him in jail for that. No. Alone. I will defend him. Or the tit joke. No, no, no. Stop IRL baiting right now. Why well, are I'm you I'm not baiting. I just think he's a really cool person. I wasn't kidding. I think Elon is very cool. You're such a liar. I'm not lying. You're literally a liar. I think he's just so funny. He's like not like other billionaires, you know. <laughs> that's why. That's what makes him so much more Shut appealing. Oh, coiners taking L's. I saw this. Hey, Elon Musk, how much shib are you holding? Damn. This is none. 
Boom. Didn't, didn't it go back way up? Too much power. Wow, you you know what <laughs> it did. You know way too much of now now I am thinking like are you a fucking Elon Stan? I, yeah I am. You're like a weird crypto person now. Ever heard of a physically backed NFT? I have actually. There's one that's like apparently there's like a cube and they let you touch it once a year. A, a what? what? It's like a tungsten cube. Oh, here's the cube. Crypto investors are bidding to touch a 1,784 pound tungsten cube once a year. You'll travel to a storage facility in Willowbrook, Illinois to touch the forbidden cube. Motherfucker, just just literally say the say the shada and become a Muslim and go to the Kaaba, okay? That's what you're supposed to do, go to Mecca. In the latest phase of the quest to turn everything into an NFT, crypto traders are now bidding, and this is what, 39 DAF, is now bidding to digitally own a 1784 pound cube of tungsten in Willowbrook, Illinois. 1,784 pounds? No, that's probably not even like that big though, because tungsten is really heavy. Oh, it's like really dense? Yeah, it's like super dense. It's 14 inches across. It's bigger each year. According to the terms of the sale, which will have the receipt posted to the blockchain for posterity, the owner can have one supervised visit to the cube per year to touch or photograph it. Wait, so if you own it, you can only have one touch, even if you own it? Yeah, the minimum bid is 47 ETH, currently equivalent to $201,000. According to the listing, the only way to take physical possession of the cube will be to burn the NFT, meaning send it to a dead-end address so it can no longer be traded. <laughs> What? This looks like a picture from Amazon. Fucking Fortnite cube. Siswit will steal it and hide it somewhere. I wonder where she'll put it. Imaginary girlfriends? Her name is Julie. She has black, long, and curly hair. Her eyes are gray. She's thin and nice. She's enthusiastic. She likes to go scuba diving. She met you at a traffic jam. This is the saddest thing yeah. I've ever seen. I guess this, this is, is one way to prevent school shootings, though. This, this isn't even a drawing anymore. No. It's gonna hurt me. Like... Price 100. Her name is Charlie. She has dark, short, and curly hair. Her eyes are green. Her, she is slim and beautiful. She's understanding. She likes to do cartwheels. She met you at a parking lot. What kind of grown adult likes doing cartwheels? What is 100 ETH? E e e what is that? This is $400,000? And it's just this? Like, there's no image? I hope every single person loses all their money that's doing <laughs> this. Like, literally. I hope the government's like, yeah, this is... We're, we're shutting this down. Probably the one who made it, and he just bought it himself to make it look like it was very expensive. Also, every oh, single yeah. one of them are slim and beautiful. Where's the fatties? You know what I mean? Oh, this is... She's oh. plucky? Oh, plucky. What no, the she, fuck wait, does that she, mean? It says she's thin and beautiful, oh. and she's plucky. What does that mean? She's a chicken? What's a plucky? I don't know. Slim and beautiful. She's thin and beautiful. Thin and pretty. Thin and pretty. I've noticed it's the green eyes. People love green eyes, apparently. Yeah, she has red and long wavy hair. Her eyes are brown. Her eyes are blue. She's thin and pretty. She's thin and nice. She's exuberant. Oh, she's plump. Let's go. Oh. Plump and pretty. Plump. pretty. Wow. Damn, that's a thick Damn, one, yeah. dude. What quitting my job and doing full-time NFTs for two months has done to, for me a thread. Bankruptcy. <laughs> this is no different than multi-level marketing schemes for fucking Redditors, okay? What about this NFT you bought? Oh, I didn't buy this. I made it. Oh, nice. I drew this. Yeah, thank you. Oh. It, I think you made fun of it when I was drawing it. Did I? Yeah. See, you don't even remember. What do you got? Like holes in your brain? What <laughs> yeah. You why? I've never seen an NFT where I'm like, damn, that art is sick. And everyone's going to be like, mm hmm, art is subjective, you fucking loser. But like, good NFT art. Oh, yeah, oh, that's the one. I saw this. This is the one that everybody lost money on. Yeah, so they disappeared. Funny. I love that, dude. Get fucked. There were multiple red, flag, red flags and evolved apes early on, but 99% of us were just blinded by the art and the promises. Blinded by the art. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad. Fuck them. All these celebrities are doing NFTs too. That's how you know it's a fucking scam. I mean, the really disappointing one was David Lynch did an NFT, I think, right? Beloved weirdo David Lynch partners with Interpol for NFT series because of course. That makes me sad.